encourage you with there are a lot of time we care so much that we even forget ourselves a lot of time we care for others so much that we actually even forget ourselves but there's one key there's one key thing that i want you to pay attention to this morning my dear listening to me my dear watching me forgive people in silence mm? forgive people in silence and never speak to them again it's a form of self-care Forgive people in silence and never speak to them again is a form of self-care. You need yourself. You see, I always tell you not everybody deserves your answer. Not everyone deserves your explanation. They say silence is gold. Mm? Silence is gold. Some people, when you tell them that I don't want to mind you, right? They, they, they see it as a, 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 an insult to them. But when you are silent, when you don't res- respond to their words, when you don't respect respond to them, it kills them. So, my dear watching me, my dear listening to me, look, forgive them in silence. Just your silence alone, forgive them. Your silence alone would kill their soul, would kill their spirit. So, my dear watching me, my dear listening to me, there are people, you, you, they do not deserve your attention. They do not deserve your answer. And that is when you have to forgive them in silence. In that manner, you are caring for yourself. You see, you care for people so much that anything that happened to them, it worries you. Anything that affects them, affects you. And you always want to defend them. You always want to talk. You always want to do that. You always want to do this. But my dear, you are forgetting the fact that you need yourself to survive. And there are some people because of how they are, who they are, and then how they treat you, right? You just have to forgive them in silence. Just, just forget them. Just forget them. Don't, don't respond to them. In that manner, you are caring for yourself. So, akuko beda ntem se nia nyama bi ebe koso onye den ohun intimi nwa wuti me se o mine your own business no means that you are caring for yourself you've mined the business of others so much but it has it hasn't added anything to your well-being but rather you care so much that they hurt you so you laugh so easily but you get hurt so easily you care so easily and they hurt you so easily. Why don't you begin to mind your own business? Why don't you begin to mind your own progress? Why don't you begin to mind your own success? You've put others first. What is the gain? Hmm? Because life is itself is about process. Life is process. There are so many things that pertain to achievement or that pertain to success. And that is the process of life. Because in life, there are things that you come across. You can come across um, failure. You can come across delayed. You can come across um, 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 backbiting. You can come across gossip. You can come across all sorts of things. That, is a, that, are, that, has, that are the things that you, can, you will come across when you want to achieve success. And you will come across fake friends. You will come across 
people that you care for them but they don't care for you but if you are able to care for yourself in silence you proceed so those that they do not talk much but they do more always get more because they don't talk much you see you talking much sometimes you will talk to us to the extent that you forget yourself and then you release a certain sensitive information the more you are talking the more you are speaking you are releasing certain information that is meant for you only for your progress or for your success only you release it and they will use your own words against you now let's look at something in the bible after jesus fasted for um, 40 days 40 nights when satan was able to tempt jesus christ because it is written in the bible satan was able to quote jesus own inspiration words that was said so na oma won nan empem bo eh 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 so satan was able to quote nyankopon ankasa enumunsem to use against him so people are after your life because of your own words people are challenging your decision people are hurting you because of your own words that someone that you trusted that you shared your secret with those are the people that they are going to reveal your secret to people to come after you so if you will be able to forgive people in silence and never speak to them again in that is in the form of self-care you are caring for yourself so one kasa unyamane. So what kasa no one kasa yeah ana unyamane. So why don't you forget them in silence? Hmm. But just say mm, yeah 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 to whatever that they say. You see, a lot of people are hurt today, of 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 them not being careful of the words that they use, and they are worse or they are caring too much has led them to. Where they are today has led to their pains that they are going through today so my dear watching me my dear listening to me it is time for you it is time for you to care for yourself you need yourself to survive you see and everybody will account for his deeds you are not going to account for your your brother or your friend you account for your own deeds. One time, one prophet was telling me that, see, the moment you close your eyes, when you live on the on earth, when you died, that is when that you will get to know all the secrets about life, where you should have been, and then where you were not able to go. The moment you close your eyes, the moment you die. That is the time that all secrets be revealed to you. So now you get to know the people that they are not happy with the things that you are doing. The people that you are fighting for. Then you get to know that these are the same people who are working against your progress. So my dear, look. I'm not telling you or I'm not saying that I don't care for others. But you've cared for people so many years. You've cared for others so many years, forgetting yourself. And life is about process. We learn and then we unlearn. You've learned to care for people. You've learned to care for others. You've learned to, I mean, do everything for people. And then you have forgotten yourself. You've do this for so many years. Mm. and for one could see then why don't you change how you care for people that you care for them but you not put in your all mm. Mm. 
nti wo de aye di suade na se ne afa wuji ni pa di no wo bete so a ene ni pa bekos wa etietia wona so sa ti mi nya wuti mi ana pe dem pe so wuti ase nyina ene se forgive people in silence and never speak to them again that is a form of self care that is a form of self care mm you have, you have to care for yourself if you are not caring for yourself no one other, no one is going to care for you mm there are few people who are going to care for you but if you look at the number of percentage are the people that you care for and the people that care for you the people that you care for had more percentage than the people that do not care for you so my dear watching me my dear listening to me it is time for you to forgive people in silence mm, forgive them in silence and care for yourself and care for yourself this is my first motivation word that i wanted to encourage you with but before i go i would share something with you briefly before i end and there are people we are doing business but we are not ending mm, we are not ending ending has become problem for most of us achieving results has become difficult for some of us and some of us too even starting has been has been a problem we have a lot of people have an idea but how to start has become a challenge has become problem someone is listening to me when they tell you the idea that they have in mind when they tell you their idea their plans when somebody show you his business plan now you will see that the person is a billionaire someone showed me his business plan i said that wow if this thing manifests or happen in reality this guy is a billionaire world class billionaire but you know the problem the problem is that we don't know how to start mm, we don't know how to start we are looking for all the means before we start we are looking for everything before we start i want to show you how to start earning i want to help you to end from whatever that you have today mm, 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 mm. you need to start earning you need to start gaining you need to start getting profit from whatever that you are spending your time to do mm. the best way to start earning is to start doing if you want to start gaining money if you want to start earning if you want to start getting profits then whatever that you are doing then whatever that you want to do you have to start doing it the first step to earning is to take action now the first step to start earning is to take action now my brother watching me my sister watching me look i always say this we are not doing anyone we are doing our own self we are not doing anyone we are doing our own self if we will progress it depends on us why am i trying to tell you this look there was a time that i lost everything i lost everything and i have to start from class one again i have to start all over again i have opportunity to say that oh i have failed let me start drinking let me start thinking let me start getting worried let me start i mean sleeping in the house and then just think how to start but i said no that is not what i need in fact i have tried before and then i have failed why don't i learn from the mistake some of the mistake that i made 
during the time that i was working and then try to change the approach and then start a new thing again so when i was able to ask myself this question i said okay now i don't have anything but what do i have at the moment i just have a camera and at the time that camera when you take a picture hmm, where i'm staying and then when they print good pictures you have to take car eh, 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 you have to take car and then you will spend huge amount of money and then that day when you are to go and then print that those pictures right hmm. in fact because that is the only place that is the only good place people from other places come and then do printing there so when you don't go at dawn if you go early in the morning remember that you by the time that you return home that will be around nine o'clock p.m you will delay because a lot of people are doing their printing there the stress that you, you even go through before your one picture get printed wasn't easy i said okay fine let's start again let's change the narrative started then i realized that that was what i was doing delivering on time was a, was an issue why don't i change the narrative now it, instead of taking one one picture to to go to people to get money right why don't i start creating content why don't i start taking pictures and then put it on the internet people who are interested of the kind of pictures that i'm taking they should request for my service and i begin eh, to take pictures random pictures visit um, places visit where nature is take a good picture anything that i see that attract my attention i begin to take picture put it on the internet now those pictures that i was taking randomly put it on the internet begin to get attention now if you ask me to come and take you one picture and then charge you for one picture if you are not somebody who is ready to pay a professional photographer you can't call me i'm not bragging but because i was able to say to myself that the narrative from the beginning the struggle in to just get one cd wasn't easy i said that no 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 let me change the narrative let me add some value to whatever that i'm doing and i was able to add that value so my pictures are professional pictures whatever that i will produce to you are of the best quality and soft copy alone is higher than even that one one copy that i was charging by then start earning with what you have now the approach that you used to gain customers years ago you can't do that now some of us what we need to start doing is we, is that we should stop the manual marketing going to people physically we should start the approach of the digital marketing digital marketing we need to advertise ourselves on social media there are various social media platforms that accept people to market yourself start by putting your content there and then you see some of us what we lack is consistency we post one or two things and then we leave it out there oh people are not patronizing but remember you you are not starting someone has been there years ago and still making that same content believing that one day is going to work for his good but you want to start today and then start earning you see earning is process and then comes with endurance you have to endure the process of earning if you are a, that person i will tatashi because our story or all fingers are not equal someone can start today and then start ending but i want you to understand that ending is about process ending is process ending come with endurance there are some certain endurance you have to endure before you start earning that is consistency For, forget the fact that about one month no one is paying attention to whatever that you are doing because 
within that time frame one month there are new people that you are going to meet on social media there are one or two people that they are they are going to call you pertain to whatever that you've posted but leave it for a time leave it for a time continue to post for that period continue to put as long as you continue to be consistent on social media one day one content is going to go viral and that viral content is going to bring you out that is what some of us we are lacking that is what some of us we are lacking and you see and then start with a single step take it now and then start with a single step for you to be able to end it start with a single step not a double step not a triple step it start with a, a, a single step one step one step and then when you finally make that step in life don't forget the fact that there is one behind you and no matter how you're going to and push the one that is at the back uh, together with the one that is in front you have to do it and then make sure that that your leg that is behind you will join the one that is in front not um, bringing the one not bringing back the one that is already in front backwards no that's why we are saying we say that forward ever backwards never if you make that single step today make sure that the one le- one leg that is left at the back you make sure that it joins the one in front make sure that it joins it join the one that is in front not the one that in front joining the one that at the back you can't make that step and then stop and then cancel that decision again you can't make a good step any step that you make is a good step you can't make that step and then change your mind again forward ever backwards never that is why you see us today so our starting wasn't encouraging our starting wasn't good our starting wasn't something that people would like to patronize but consistency has led to where we are today consistency has led to where we are today we make sure that one step that we have made today we will not bring the one foot that is in front to the back one but we make sure that the one that is at the back will join the one that is in front that is why we we are where we are today so my dear watching me my dear listening to me my dear brother watching me wherever that you find yourself please please and then start with a single step when you finally make that step never change your mind when you finally make that step never change your decision when you finally make that step my dear do not let anything distract you to bring the your your left foot and the foot that you've made in front bring bring it backwards forward ever backwards never forward ever backwards never start ending today because yesterday is gonna is gone and tomorrow is not here yet hmm? start ending today make that step today that step that thing that you want to start start it now because yesterday is gone and tomorrow and eh, eh, tomorrow is not yet here what you have is now what you have is today i always tell people if you have opportunity to change something in your life it is now you can never travel to yesterday mm? Mm? you can never travel to yesterday you can't travel to tomorrow what you are living in is now what you are living in is today so if you have something to do you do it now if you want to make that step make it now if you want to make that bold step it is now that you have to make that step not tomorrow not yesterday not 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 uh, you can't say tomorrow next it is now make that step now my dear listen to me make that step now wherever you find yourself just make that step now and when you finally make that step make sure you don't change your mind but you keep on going forward start with what you have end with what you know and grow with what you've learned Mm? Mm -mm 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 -mm. start with what you have today start with what you have today 
end with what you have what you have today can help you end what you want to get and grow with what you've learned whatever that you want to whatever that you want to end eh? whatever that you want to grow with grow with what you learn eh? life will teach you lesson but if you're able to learn from life life can make you grow but if you're unable to learn life life will bring you down that is how life is if you'll be able to grow you have to learn if you're not able to learn then you cannot grow you always be where you are that is why things happen in our life that is why things happen to us as we are journey through the life as we are journey through process eh? there are things that we come across it is a lesson for us to learn but if you are able to learn if you will be able to learn eh, you will grow if you are unable to learn you will be where you are so when 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 you when you a new baby is being born eh when the baby refuses to learn what the mother or the father or the parent are teaching him or her the baby can never grow the baby will grow and will never have the sense so the other time i was asking somebody that look why is it that when a child is born right when they want the child to understand only English or only local language, they feed the child with that language. And the child will, will pick that language forever. My dear, look. The mind is empty. So if you are not able to learn, if you are not able to process good things in your mind, if you are, if, if you are not lucky and then you are being fed with bad information, you grow with bad information. But if you are lucky to grow with good information, then you will learn and then grow with good information, with good results. So my dear watching me, my dear listening to me, life will teach you a lesson. Life will make you learn in life. But if you are refusing to learn life, life will make you remain where you are. But if you are able to learn life, life will uplift you. So a lot of people are being uplifted because they are learning life. So let us learn. Let us learn. Mm. Earning is not just about money. It is about building a better future. Start now. Mm. Earning is not about money. To end, it's not just about money. It's not just about money. Oh, uh, Charlie, when I get this, that'll be all. Oh, when I, I need to. Earning is not just about money. It is about building a better future. So start now. What future are you building? What future do you want to build? What future are you looking for? What future do you want to build? Start that future now. Build that future now. Build that future now. Start it now. Now is the perfect time for you. Not tomorrow, not yesterday. You can never tr travel to yesterday to correct few things that you didn't do right. What you have is today. If you have any correction to do in your life now. If you have any good correction to do in your life, that is now. Do that now. So to end, it's not just about money. It's not just about money. It is about what? It is about building a better future building a better future building a better future comes with a whole lot comes with everything that you can think of my dear brother listen to me my dear brother watching me thank you so much but this is where time will permit me to end my time is up thank you so much for joining me make sure you join me again tomorrow right here on kj radio but please note 10 o'clock ghana time reverend joseph usu answer who will join us live in his present with Reverend Joseph Uzu Ansa. Exactly 10 o'clock a.m. GMT. Reverend Joseph Uzu Ansa will be bringing us a powerful word of God. So make sure you join us live. So all that you need to do, download the KJ Radio app on Google Play Store, Apple Play Store. When you download the app, you can listen to KJ Radio anytime, any day, anywhere. Or you can just 
Google search KJ Radio KJ any boom now the um, space about then you add the radio you can listen to us on all various platforms for free of charge that we don't charge you anything so make sure you get connected and then you listen to KJ Radio indeed we say radio wait class so you that you are doing the watching you that you are doing the listen thank you so much if you are new to this channel please 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 i want you to subscribe to the channel for me hit on the notification bell get notified anytime you go live don't be left out there are a lot more and my analysis tell me that more people watch our content but they do not end up subscribing to the channel if there is anything we are not doing right just let us know but please when you watch our content please make sure you subscribe for us it encourages us to do more if you are not able to drop a comment at least subscribe to the channel let and encourage us to do more so someone can also be be saved someone can also learn something in life so thank you so much for your understanding and keep sharing for us and god will continue to bless you miss v inside of Boise, uh, a very good month to you my pastor pastor daniel Kwaja, Kwache Ameyao, inside the united states of a shaman a very good morning to you and uh, my district pastor pastor papa Mwakohine, inside the united states of a shaman a very good morning to you and all seven day adventist church members a shaman central district uh you will come eating a very good morning to everyone and then everyone who was able to join my presentation yesterday god bless you so much if you're not able to join us you can join us you can watch the video later uh, just visit our page uh, on youtube and you will see nice presentation they're reaching them out where they, where they are it is a very nice presentation that you need to learn some strategy how to win so for christ so you can visit our page and then watch that content there are a lot how to also gain subscribers or gain um, views on um, social media or uh, in that presentation that i did yesterday so make sure you pick it up and then you watch and then learn something out of it but thank you so much you see i want to leave you with this and when i'm i'm done with this i'm done look anything that you want to do mm, challenges will come difficulties will come mm, but just position in your mind that when you start god will be with you trust me i wasn't thinking i will be able to do life today because my dear brother watching me i wasn't feeling well I wasn't feeling well at all. I was coughing throughout the night. And and I I I I was thinking that the coughing would distract to the extent that I won't be able to speak to you. But look, immediately I started. I start talking. I don't know where the coughing disappeared to. And I never cough throughout the time that I was sharing a motivation word with you this tell, tells us this tells us that when you want to do something immediately you start god step in if you want to put if you want to be in the same shoe with christ if you want to be in the same shoe with god just fa- just make the first move he will journey with you this is what i want to leave you with whatever that you want to do just make the move now immediately you make that move god stepped in for you that is what happened to me i wasn't feeling well but at the end of the session i was able to speak to you and i'm happy that through what i wanted to share with you today god wanted to share with you today through that i've gotten my healing so my dear watching me my dear listening to me whatever that you want to do do it now you are living in today not tomorrow not yesterday now so start making that move now and god will reward you god reward hard work god will reward people who are determined in life god reward people who are focused in life god reward people hmm, 
who are focusedly driven. So I always use because I am more um, IT person, I do more IT or I do more photography and videography. I always cite an example of focus. You see this camera that I'm this camera that is in front of me. When I move away, I will be blare. I will be blare. The sound, everything is going to change. My focal point is here. When I move away, you see, I'm getting blare. The sound, everything is changing. That is how life is. Get to where you want to get to. But it starts with a single step. When you make that step, God journey with you. When you make that step, God step in. So my dear brother watching, my dear sister watching, whatever that you want to do, do it. It will come with a challenge. But when God is in your boots, every storm becomes still. God bless you. Enjoy your day. This, this is KJ Radio. Radio with class.
Shira. 